Hello again. We're going to be adding steam or smoke to an image using what's called the Render Cloud Filter. That's available in Adobe Photoshop as well as Adobe Elements. I already have an image open. We're also going to need the layers palette. If you do not see the layer palette, you're going to want to go to the Window tab and select Layers and the layer palette will become visible. I'm going to right click on the palette to bring up some options and I'm going to choose duplicate layer. I'll accept the default name for the duplicate layer and I then end up with two identical layers. You can either choose to work with the original background layer or the new duplicate layer. You want to choose the upper duplicate layer that's the layer we're going to be adding the smoke or steam to. I now want to identify on the image where I'd like the smoke to appear. To do that, I'm going to choose the lasso tool. I'm going to right click on the lasso tool icon and that shows that there are actually three lasso tools you can choose from. I'm going to choose the upper one that's simply called the lasso tool. Then depressing the left mouse button, I'm going to begin to paint in where I'd like the smoke or steam to appear. When I get back close to my starting point I simply release the button and the selection appears. Now we're going to add the steam or smoke to that area that I've just selected. The steam or smoke is actually going to be kind of a splotchy mixture of your foreground color and your background color. In my case, the foreground color is currently red and the background color is currently yellow. I want to stick to grayscale colors only, so I'm going to click the grayscale tab, it's right here, and I'd like white to be my foreground color. Currently it's black, so I'm going to click the reversal tab that's up here. Now I have white as my foreground color and I'd actually like gray, not black, to be my background color. So I'm going to double click on the black to change it to gray. That brings up this color rectangle and you can't really see it but there's a small circle down in the lower left hand corner and I'm going to grab that circle by clicking on my left mouse button and then I can change that color to anything I'd like but I'm going to hug the left hand margin which is the gray scare scale area. If I go all the way up I'm choosing white. If I go all the way down I'm choosing black. I'm going to go nearly all the way to white. A little bit gray. That's fine. And now you see that my background color is now gray. We're now ready to create the cloud. Choose the filter tab and choose render clouds. there you have it. There's one final step. I want to blend the edges and the tail end of the smoke and steam into the blue sky background. To do that I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to use a very low opacity, probably less than 10 percent, so that there's only a limited amount of erasure that occurs with each stroke of the hand. And I'm going to want to begin to erase away the tail end of the smoke, blending it into the sky. I forgot one step. Let's deselect the smoke. There we go. I want to erase the edges of the smoke, particularly at the tail end of the smoke, but really I'm going to work my way along the edges all the way back to the stack. And because I have it set for a fairly low opacity not much is happening with each stroke. Now way to, the way to do this is you depress the left mouse button you erase a little bit then you release the mouse button and then you repeat that. If you just hold the button down the effects gonna be very limited. So you kinda have to bang away with the left mouse button and you can begin to see things taking shape. Now there's a more complicated but more effective way of doing this other than using the eraser tool 
and that's what I'm going to show you now. We're going to use instead something called a layer mask. I'm going to go to the layer tab and I'm going to choose layer mask. And I have a choice of two masks, two types of masks. Choose the first one which is called reveal all. You can see in my layer palette that I now have a white mask. And I'm going to be painting on that mask with black paint. So I want to make sure that black is my foreground color which pops up automatically. And I want to choose a paintbrush tool. And now I'm going to do the same thing I was doing with the eraser. Gradually blend, blending in the edges of the smoke into the blue sky. We're doing the same thing as the what we were doing with the eraser tool. The difference is if I want to undo what I've done, if I go a little bit too far, I can simply reverse the color palette so that I'm now painting with white. And by painting with white, I'll actually be bringing back the smoke. So it's easy to undo a mistake using this technique. Whereas if you're using the eraser tool and you've just done a thousand eraser strokes, it's going to be difficult to undo it. And you can see over here from a technical standpoint I've actually been painting in black on the white layer mask and what this is actually doing is creating an area of transparency in this upper level or upper layer and through that transparency you can see the blue sky that's in the original lower background layer. So from a technical standpoint that's what's going on. From a practical standpoint we're blending the edges and tail end of the smoke into the would help if I'm using black as the foreground color. There we go. Blending things into the blue sky which makes it look realistic. That's the end of our presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.